So my name is Ananya. I am in Lancers International School for B. My favorite color is purple. So yeah, let's begin. All right, all right. First of all, congratulations on your book and uh, the achievement that you know you have become a published author. It it is a great achievement in itself. And uh, I assume that you know you had written this book when you were in third grade because that's what your, uh, you know, it it says on your book, right? So becoming a published author at such a young age, how does that feel? Very nice. So how did, you know, the thought of you wanting to write a book come to your head? How did you like, think? so actually, I was watching this series on Apple TV. And then I found out all about pandas and I thought to write a book about right. panda. And you said that I had read a few, you know, first pages of your book. And it said that, you know, you like dogs as well, uh, apart from panda. Yeah. Because they're cute and fluffy. So, uh, I mean, does animals in general make you happy or there are just specific animals that you're more attracted to? Like, I'm scared of some wild animals, but I'm, like, I pet all the cute dogs in my society. I, like, I love dogs and pandas more than more animals. And uh, when you started writing this book after watching that series, that must have inspired you. <clears throat> also, you have written that, you know, you were kind of you heard about climate change and how we should protect animals and the ecosystem in general therefore the idea of writing this book came to your mind how did you you know research all about pandas and then wrote, wrote down this book like i researched it like my mom was watching this series again like then i got like then I wanted to also watch with her when I started watching with her I was I, I came to you that all all about these animals like the dogs and pandas so that's why I thought I could write this book great and before you wrote this book is this the first book that you have written no this is my second which was your first book Lily and Oreo what was that? It was, about, it was about a dog. Oh, so you've already written it. Was, yeah, it was a fiction book. Now this one is a non-fiction. Yes, yes. So uh, now that you know, you already have gone through <clears throat> the entire journey of how writing, publishing and promoting your book works and everything. How does that make you feel as an author? I feel very proud as, for myself. That I'm, that I'm writing all these books and everybody's praising me. Right. And people out there are going to, you know, get aware about the pandas as well now because you have written so much about it. And it's, it's kind of very uh, awakening, I would say, and uh, full of awareness. So that's a good book that you have written. I will definitely read it when I go back. And, uh, you know, how did the idea of you writing a book in general came to your mind. Like when you were introduced to Brie books, uh, when you must have heard it for the first time, when did you it click that, you know, you should also write a book? Like I felt interested to write books. I was just like home, like just doing playing and all. So I thought that I should do, yeah, write a book. And because my teacher also inspired me, so I thought actually I should really write a book because I keep home alone just playing and yeah, which I felt like reading some books. Then yeah, I wrote a book. Also. That is great. That is great. Now, are you going to write more books? Of course. Every year, like in my holidays, school holidays, I'm going to write books. That is great. So now it has become kind of an interesting hobby that, you know, you would like to include in your pastime. So does writing book helps you in any way? Uh, does it, you know, improves your vocabulary or your uh, composition or your comprehension skills? Does it help you in any way or is it just for fun? It helps for like for everyone's knowledge and mind. All right. And what else do you do apart from, you know, book writing? What do you like to do? 
like I like to draw and make crafts. All right. And also my favorite, my favorite part is doing doing gymnastics. Oh great, oh great! You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to do gymnastics too. Uh, however, I did become an athlete. I did not get to get a chance to become a gymnast, but this is you know very great. So next book probably you can write about something you know of your personal experience on on gymnastics or other hobbies that you have. Yes, I'll try to because I have lots of things in my mind to write about. All right. So, do you think you know beforehand when you start writing a book, or is it like a flow that comes to your mind while you're writing it? How does that work out for you? So I think first, then my mom also helped me in thinking. Then we start writing a book. All right. So it is like you take probably one page, two page a day, and then you move for forward, right? All right. How many days did it take you to write this one? It took three, four days. So then, book writing is actually not very difficult. It's it's an easy job, right? When you know, once you know, and you decide what you want to write, it is an easy thing, right? Yeah. So it's not that scary at and all. And it's because of and it's because of Bree books. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. It supports okay. me. Yes, and it guides you. So that, you know, yeah. you can share your story with the world because it is actually super proud that, you know, people around the globe can now read your book. They might have one copy in their shelf. Do you have your own book in your shelf? Yeah, lots of them. All right. And did you share your book with your friends and family members? Yes, I took it to my school. My teachers and my friends are reading them. They're getting inspired, like they're getting inspired to write books like me. And were they proud? From Bree books only. From Bree books only, they are going to write it. All right. And uh, because now you are an author, if I were to ask you for one advice that you would want to give other authors, what advice would that be? It will be interesting. Like, and I'll get, like, everybody will get inspired. They'll start writing books and they will not be alone. Uh, again they will not be alone and just play and all they will again also get praised by their friends families and all right. so yeah i like inspiring others that's great that's great book writing is not <laughs> just inspiring for others it's an inspiring task for yourself you know it keeps you motivated you would enjoy it this is something productive that you'd you know have like a cherished souvenir for the rest of your life yeah. great and what if I were to ask one, uh, maybe a chapter or some part of this book, The Giant Panda, what part is your favorite? Mm, like what I wrote in my book. Yes. Okay, in this book, my favorite part is that it's telling that they have six fingers and they're 100 to 115 kgs. I like that part. That's like it's, And also the pictures of it, it's very cute. I love that. So yeah, those two are my favorite parts. And where did you find these pictures from? I Some I found from Bree Books only. Some I found from Google. All right. And you said that you are also interested in drawing in arts and craft. Maybe probably, you know, in your next book because now... You have the feature of including your own pictures. You can draw something or you can make a craft, take a picture of that and you can put it in your book. So that will also be, you know, your drawings and crafts will also be saved for the rest of your life. Yeah, okay, I'll do that next book. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting idea. And uh, while you were writing your book, uh, I know that you told that your mom helped you in some areas. Uh, did, did they also help you in, you know, promoting your book or sharing it with their colleagues and friends? And how was their reaction when you first published your book? Their reaction was so surprised. Like, they were so surprised that I wrote a book. They wanted also me to tell how they wrote it, how you did it, how, how should we do it. So then I inspired them to write and now everybody is trying to guess a book and write it. So you have actually kind of inspired a lot of people with your book. That is, you know, 
a very very good news all right and have you read other books from the b books platform yep i have read few of them not all all right yes it's it's you know, the the multiple books on the platform it's very difficult to read all mm -hmm. but a few definitely we can read because they're all fellow authors you should also support them and you know they would in turn read your books definitely all right so one book you have written is fiction the other one is non fiction what other genres would you like to you know explore in the next books that you would write mm, like all of them fiction and non -fiction. i'll keep on writing them yes like so yeah, yeah they can be fake and, and like the gymnastics i do the crafts i can write all about that that is great that is great now that you know there are also many other genres that we've added on the brie books platform you should go check it out they're very interesting and definitely you would get some help in writing your other book and i would love 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 to read all of your books whenever you publish them all the very best and is there anything else that you know you would like to share to the audience or anything about your book or your experience in general yes i would tell them can you please buy my books i would love you like i would love you to get inspired and also learn about giant pandas great all right thank you thank you so much for speaking with us it was great once again congratulations on all your achievements have a great day bye bye bye, bye.